Before I met Christ, I was trying to solve all my problems on my own. I didn't have somebody to look up to. I didn't have somebody guiding me along. It was just kind of like I was in this thick fog and what Christ did, he got this big vacuum and he just sucked up all these clouds and then it just became so clear. A huge portion of my life, almost all of it, I had without Christ. And it was just kind of lonely. And I, I was blind, but I didn't know I was blind. I always had these couple friends in my life who always tried to bring me to Christ. Two years ago, I got invited to church. And I was like, all right, yeah, why not? And that was just such an enlightenment in my life. I, was, I wasn't spiritually alive, but I knew that it was, it was doing something. One verse that's always stuck with me was Romans 5.3, how we rejoice in our sufferings because sufferings produces perseverance, and perseverance produces character, and character produces hope. That's always stuck with me because we struggle every day, you know? Whether it's grand or small, we always have something that's a hinder in our lives that we have to navigate through. And this verse just sticks with me because we have to rejoice in these moments of suffering because Christ suffered and we get to suffer like Christ did and we get to have that kind of relationship with Him. The more I learned about Christ, the more I kind of wanted to learn more and that kind of opened my eyes to this, this is, this is real. And He started, He started moving in my life but I feel like I wasn't still committing to him. I was still kind of spectating. I still had these, these addictions and strongholds on my life that were holding me back from God. One of those addictions mainly was marijuana. I was smoking three, four times a day for about three years. I felt convicted, but I didn't know how to give it up. You know, I was using it as an outlet until I had this crazy spiritual encounter with God. One night I was smoking and my chest, it started to hurt really bad. And then my, my head started to hurt really bad. And then my vision started going out. And then the chest pain moved over to my shoulder. I was like, dude, I'm having a freaking heart attack right now. So I just got to praying. I closed my eyes and I was like, God, don't, don't let this be happening. Like, don't, don't take me right now. And the pain just kept escalating and I felt like I was actually losing my life. And I heard him clearer than I've ever had in the past. Before that, he said, if you keep smoking, this is going to kill you. And I said, okay, I, I believe that, but how am I going to be able to get rid of this? And he just said, trust me. So I said, okay, take it from me. And it felt like, it felt like I was in a prison cell and Jesus just opened the door and he set me free. I opened my eyes from that prayer. And like a thousand pounds just lifted off my chest. My chest didn't hurt anymore. I was, I was completely sober. It sobered me up. I took all my, all my stuff that I had for weed and I threw it all away. Ever since that moment, I've never felt more free. And I knew it was completely from God because I've tried to quit on my own. It just was not possible. I had to, I had to put my faith in God.